another Adobe Illustrator quick tip by Fatfly Design. Let's take a look at how to join two endpoints in Adobe Illustrator. So let's take a look at this path first. What I have here is what used to be a circle that I've cut the top off of, and I'm looking at it in preview mode. It only has a stroke applied to it, and this is what it looks like in outline mode. And what if I wanted to join these two endpoints and close this path off? Well, maybe an obvious way is to grab the pen tool and to click once here and click once here, and that has closed the path off. But let's look at another method that we might want to use. So what I can do is I can grab my direct select tool, and I can select this endpoint directly and hold my shift key down and select the second endpoint directly, and then I could go to object path join and I usually use keyboard shortcuts you'll notice that the keyboard shortcut is command J and so if I go ahead and choose join it will create a new path that connects those two endpoints I'm gonna undo that now now let me show you another thing that you might want to do so I'm gonna directly select this endpoint and shift directly select that endpoint again and go back to object path and I want to talk about this average down here. If I choose average, it's going to move both of these endpoints directly on top of each other. And then once I choose join, it will actually like weld them together instead of creating a new path between the two of them. So let's take a look at that average. And it asks which axis I want to do. I'm just going to do both and I'll hit OK. Now it moved both of them directly on top of each other. Now don't be deceived. They have not been joined yet. They are still actually, it's still actually an open path. So I'm going to undo all the way back to the beginning just so I get this right. Directly select, object, path, average, okay, and then object, path, join. Now they are a single anchor point if I click directly on it, you can see that it's no longer an open path. It is now closed. Okay, let's move over to a little more complex shape. And this A may look okay to you, but if I were to zoom right in on the top of it, now you might notice a little flaw up here. I have actually, behind the scenes, I cut this top of this A off. Let's look at it in outline mode. It's a little easier to see. Now I can see that that's an open path. And I want to join both of these back together. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to create a new path between them. So I'm going to directly select both of these anchor points, object, path, average, object, path, join. Now, this is a single anchor point that's been joined together. I might need to do a little bit of adjustment to get that perfect, but that's how I join two endpoints of an open path together. I use that join, that average, and join all the time as I'm working on artwork in Illustrator. Thanks for watching this Illustrator quick tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. And if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.